You've got noisy neighbours. They're upstairs and in the room downstairs, you're hearing a lot of impact noise. Impact noise is things like footsteps or a washing machine and it's a really common complaint. Now, the best thing you can do to stop impact noise disturbing you downstairs is to actually treat the floor above. We do this with something like the Mute Mat 2 because this has a layer which doesn't bottom out, which means that when impact hits it, it doesn't make direct contact with the floor beneath and therefore allow the impact vibrations to travel through the structure of the building and radiate into the room downstairs. But of course, if you haven't got access to that room upstairs, then how are you going to soundproof your ceiling against impact vibrations which are already in the structure of the building? What you need to do is decouple your new soundproofing ceiling from the original ceiling. We do this with something called a mute clip, and I have one here. You can see it's made of a dual density silicone, which is able to resist a wide range of vibrations, and then it has a claw on the bottom, and this claw is able to grip a channel. This device means that you end up with a gap between what would be your original ceiling and your new soundproofing ceiling. As your ceiling physically vibrates with this impact noise, the mute clip acts like a mini shock absorber. So as vibrations are traveling through the structure of the building, this mute clip prevents as many vibrations entering your new soundproofing ceiling, which could be made of acoustic plasterboard. This is the best defense that you can get against impact noise if you're not able to treat the floor above. If you want to find out more about soundproofing a ceiling, then head over to acoustic.co.uk.